Hi all. Hope everything is going good. Today uh, let's discuss about the journal entry. Uh, how we can manage the accounts journal entry through Infogate accounting software. We have the feature uh, feature window for the journal entry and uh, uh, its reporting. In accounts section you can move to journal entry. When we click this we will get the window for creating our journals. Uh, all the accountants who is familiar with the with the accounting department can utilize this window and they will uh, get the idea how to utilize this window because this is purely uh, financial accounting. We have the we have to care about the accounting principles using this uh, to use this window. That means credit debit transactions how we can credit and how we can debit uh, the accounts for the business what you are use, uh, in which you are using the software so in order to use or utilize this uh, window and feature first of all we sh should have our uh, financial our financial accounts like uh, like every businesses which uh, for example trading businesses will have one bank account one uh, cash account some petty cash accounts some expense accounts assets liabilities all these kind of uh, accounts will be there in your chart of account the chart of account is already we have discussed in one video we have the facility to create the chart of account and maintain our chart of account in the master section accounts master we can create and maintain our chart of accounts uh, through this help of this window our accounts and the code for the account the name of the account and the details code the name the arabic name the group of the account means the type asset expense income or liability and uh, the group of the account where we can choose from and the corresponding arabic values for the printing for printing the report in arabic Utilize the, utilizing this window, we can create our chart of account and that chart of account can be utilized by entering journals or some of the default accounts like sales, purchase, VAT, cash, bank accounts are already default created uh, in our uh, uh, software. The other accounts, for example, petty cash accounts, expense accounts, other assets accounts can be created using this facility by entering your code and name and details after that you can maintain your transaction uh, through the journal entry window okay let's uh, enter one sample entry and see how the journal entry window is working uh, for the accounting software here we have the facility to choose the date of the entry and the document number for the journal is automatically which is incrementing and here we can choose the account this account should be uh, chosen uh, two times because you know uh, as I told you to utilize this window you should have the uh, idea about the basics of uh, uh, the accounting entries the double entry system which is debit and credit which is debiting one account and crediting the uh, the other account so the, this uh, this window is working the same principle for example let's now create one uh, transaction which we if uh, when we take some amount and we try uh, uh, withdraw some amount from the bank and debit that amount into our cash account for the business so in that scenario, first of all, we will choose the uh, crediting account, that's the bank. Uh, for, uh, for example, here we have the National Commercial Bank, the bank account, whichever your bank account is. This bank account can be created from the master accounts master as your asset account. And then we will enter the amount of credit. For example, if we are uh, withdrawing 5000 riyal from the bank, so it will enter as credit because every asset account which is uh, decreasing should be credited and then we will enter the purpose of the entry for example to cash anything whatever you need to enter uh, to notify that entry can be noticed here in the narration window 
and then just click down one record one uh, row is added and repeat the process for the debit entry for the same account uh, for the same entry we will choose the account if it is moving directly to the petty cash account or main cash account whichever account is maybe some asset accounts like your vehicles whatever it is or petty cash account now let's see moving the amount to one petty cash account directly so we will open this account and then debit the same account uh, say with the same amount debit column is there you will enter it in the debit column so by bank whatever it is and then click down so for this journal we have the double entry now entered correctly the credit and the debit the bank is credited to the cash which is debited means the increasing in the asset account should be debited so like this we have the principle hope you uh, will get the idea from your accountants or with the help of your accountant or your accountant itself can uh, utilize this window like this after entering the record you will uh, we can see the debit and uh, credit is tallying and after that you can choose the date of the entry and then save once you save you will get the message successfully saved and if you want to print you can print the voucher means it will be here like this uh, the same is showing here to cash credited 5000 riyal by cash uh, by bank the petty cash is debited with uh, 5000 riyal now like this you can utilize this window for any of your accounting purposes means when you are uh, when you are starting the business you can enter the first entry like your investment and uh, uh, scheduling those values to your uh, your assets or liabilities or any other purposes you can utilize this window and uh, scheduling your salaries scheduling other uh, business transactions like uh, buying vehicles buying uh, buying other assets for the businesses whatever purpose of the accounts entry you can utilize the same window to enter and save these documents whenever you are generating these journal vouchers you will be uh, available with the report section for the journal register and uh, individual vouchers individual uh, ledgers can be utilized here can be seen here for example if you want to see the uh, ledger of bank what happened this uh, this can be utilized and you can choose the bank account and uh, get the period and choose the period and you can see the journal entry over there this is how we can utilize the uh, journal entry window from infocat accounting software and here where there is another facility which is you can see there are three points all customer and supplier when we choose all all the uh, accounts from the chart will be uh, seen other than the debtors and creditors if you want to enter any uh, accounting transaction like uh, uh, like availing the discounts means discount allowed or any other things any other entries like transactions you, can, you want to enter you can uh, to against one uh, customer ledger account means your debtors account you can choose this and then it will show only our customers as accounts because these all are our debtors account which is created from the master uh, customer master and if you want to enter any journal entry against your creditors means your suppliers you can choose the supplier and then you can choose the supplier account here we don't have any suppliers if you want to create the suppliers we can move to the master and the supplier master where we can generate our creditors account with the details of all